Hello my friends, in this lesson I'm just going to teach you on how you can create a bar bending schedule like this one as you can see from here. Right now the model that we are going to use to create this schedule is this one right here as you can see. Now if you don't know on how to create such a model please just make sure that you check the card above. That is where I explained on how to create, how to model in place free bar as you can see from here. So if you like what I'm doing on this channel, I ask you please make sure that you like my videos and subscribe to my channel so that when I upload some new videos, be notified immediately and learn from this channel. So without wasting time, let's get started in this lesson. So as you can see, I've just opened this model, the same model with no schedule. And if you want to check if the schedule is there or not, you can simply click there and you see that under the schedules and quantities, there's nothing here. So now the first thing that you need to do before you start creating any schedule is to make sure that you assign, you know, the rebar to the partition so that that can save as a member. So I'll simply go on top right there. Okay, I want to select all the, all the rebar within the columns. I'll just, you know, select like that. Then move on top there. Then I hold control and select all the rebar just like that and continue until I select all the bars on my columns. Now I'll hold shift and the wheel on my mouse to just orbit like that, right? Then I'll go to filter, then check none and just pick the structural rebar. What I'm trying to do is just to pick the bars within the columns there. Then I'll go to properties and then under the partition, I'll just name this one as column. Okay, so these bars are assigned to that partition, that partition which is called the column. I'll click outside and I'll do the same for the beams. Now for the beams, I can simply go to, to the front there and now start from the top. Okay, make sure that I select like that in that direction. Then hold control and simply select just like that. Okay, because I just want to select the beams and its strip bar inside. Just like that. Now simply go to the 3D view by orbiting like that. Shift and the wheel on your mouse holding at the same time. Then go to filter, then check none and pick structure rebar, apply. Okay. Now I'll go to partition C, click once and I'll simply call these ones as beams. Okay and enter from my keyboard click outside so you notice that if i just pick any bar within there i see that it's assigned to that partition now lastly but not the least i'm going to do this for my bases just click on right here zoom in here and i'll select like that hold the control and select these ones if i try to orbit like this i can go to filter check none structure rebar apply ok and now for the partition, I'll simply call this one as base and simply enter from my keyboard and click outside. Okay, so I've assigned all the bars to my partitions. Now what I'm going to do is to simply go to schedule, just like that. Let me just move it here. Then just go to, sh to schedule under the view there. And then we have the schedules. Then simply click on schedules and quantities. All right, now from here, all you need to do is to make sure that you filter to structure so that you just see, you know, structure related categories. Then just find the rebar, the structure rebar, which is right here. Once you select on it now, you can see that you have, you can put the name that you want. I'll, I'll leave it at rebar schedule later on. I'm going to rename it. And now simply click on OK. Once you click on OK now, this is where you need to pick the fields you want to include to be part of the schedule. All right, so I'll start with, you know, the partition that I created. So I'll just find where my partition is, click on partition and add it here. Pick what you want from here and then click the arrow to add it here. Then I want to add also the ribbon number from here, which is right here, add it. Then I want also the, the quantity. Yeah, just find Q there, quantities right here and I'll simply add it from there then i also want the type all right find it from here and add it there i think the next one now should be 
we have quantity type then we can have the shape and also the bar length and total length so i'll go to shape add it here then the bar length right here add it here and now the total bar length as you can see add it there now i'm also going to add you know the dimensions starting from a so i'll simply find a just pick the second one then add it go to b and we have c and d okay the last one is e add then i'll also add the bending detail right here and simply add it there and once you add all the fields that you are interested in just need to click on okay and you can see that this is how your schedule is going to appear so now once you do that you have to make sure that you now just filter it and show whatever you want to do within here all right so as you come to the properties here you notice that you have you know the appearance the fields filter formatting and sorting you can click any of these for example if i just click the second one you see that it will bring me to this box if i just close it and click the last one it is still the same box and you can just move from one field to the other okay i'll start with the sorting and grouping right then under the sorting and grouping i'll remove the item you can see that it's itemizing all the instances what i want to do is to sort so i'll just click on sort and i want to sort by partition which is a member then i want to sort it by the ribbon number which is the bar mark okay that means that if the bar mark is the same then it's going to group it as one you can see that we have so many bases so many columns and this is not what we want all right so i'll filter it by partition then by ribbon number okay and now i'm going to okay before i remove itemize every instance i'll just click on okay you can see that it has sorted out but still is itemizing each and every instance so i'll click any one of these here it doesn't matter then you can go to sorting and grouping and remove itemize every instance click on ok perfect as we can see now we are able to filter it like this okay now let me also you know filter it by the quantity you can see that it's giving me various here if i click on edit then go to sorting and grouping after that then i'm going to filter it by you know by quantity all right where is the quantity you can just type q on my keyboard and quantity is right there let me click on ok and you can see that that one is also removed as you can see all right now some of you may ask to say that i don't want to have the best two of these okay right maybe what you need to do later on if you want to learn on how to export this schedule to maybe to excel whereby you can just combine these boxes i don't think in revit i don't know maybe there could be someone who has a way of you know combining this for example just want to have one base here instead of having base base beams 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 usually you just need to export it to excel and now you can combine this the way we work in excel but this is okay for now now what i want to do is now to just start to you know you know editing this so that it displays the way i want it to be for example i want to have bar bending schedule from here right then click outside now for this one i know that uh this one is a partition but i can simply rename it to this one to say that member okay member maybe i just want to change this one to bar mark Okay, maybe the quantity i'll just type maybe a qty for quantity then this one i'll type type and size okay this is how you can rename and show it the way you want to, to do then here i'll just change to maybe just bending or you can finish it or even to bending detail and click outside okay so now you notice that this is how you are going to see your schedule and before i make any further changes let me just you know put it on my sheet so that you can see it properly so i'll simply go to project browser and now under the sheets there i see that i don't have any sheet so i'll simply right click and create a new sheet and i'll simply open 
a1 metric and click on ok all right so this is the sheet where we want to place our schedule so i'll go to schedules and quantities now you see that the bar bending schedule the way we renamed it is right there and i can simply hold my left mouse and drag it and release the mouse and simply maybe place it right here and zoom in okay perfect you can see that now we just need to format it we don't want to see these dimensions like this it will be too cluttered so we just want to make some changes on this schedule so let me simply go back to bar bending schedule and now i can go to properties click any of these by clicking on edit now what i want to do is to go to we are under formatting go to bar bending schedule that's the one i want to start with then under the fields properties click there then if i just click there instead of show values i'll show names so that it shouldn't show the values okay in terms of those numbers then the line style let me change this one maybe to wide okay so that those lines bending details can be thicker you can even create you know the, your line style that you want to use you know and just pick it from here i'll just pick wide lines the representation i can change it maybe okay i think i oh let me change it to plan right now the length here okay and the angles let me first of all before i change anything else just click on okay then click on okay let me go back to what i placed on the sheet and as you can see this is what we want and it looks perfect right okay so we are happy with what we have i can turn on the thick line so that i'm able to see it like that all right i think overall we are okay with what we have here let me just change you know the the font maybe even the line styles here i can simply go back to the schedule this one the one which is not placed on the sheet then click on edit now i can go to appearance here and now what can we change from here i can even add some you know you know strips there strip arrows i can just click there then i also want to add the outline for this schedule and the outline i want it to be maybe a wide lines or thick lines just like that or thick maybe let me just pick wide lines that is for the outline for the grid lines i think it's okay let me just activate and maybe pick that color there click okay right then what else now the text we have the text we are showing the text for the for the title and also for the headers i can pick the text that i want from here for example title text schedule default let me just pick the 3.5 for this one and for the header which is this one here i just want to pick maybe a 2.5 okay body text i'll leave the way it is click okay you can see that we have those and if i just click there you can see that we have the schedule like that now if i want to add the you know to change the color here let me just go to notate first of all all right i'll show a different method if it doesn't work if i just go to 2.5 2.5 is black let me just change it to maybe blue okay if it doesn't change you can see it's perfect i don't even have to go inside there i just need to since i know this was 2.5 i can change it from there and i can also you know go to annotate text you know and follow the 3.5 click on edit and also change this one to blue okay then from here i can even make it bold or even change whatever i want to do within here click on apply you can see it looks perfect let me also change the 2.5 from here right to bold from here click on apply okay and perfect this is what we have so if i just zoom in you can see that we have those strips now if the colors are too dark you can go back and change it so this is how you can work with your schedule you can just go there and pick you know the parameters that you want to include here so if you like what i'm doing on this channel please make sure that you like my videos and subscribe to my channel